This week, we start things off in the capital city of San Jose. Old school, a real live map. Now this place is 300 years old, but at three centuries and counting, this city remains one of Central America's youngest capitals. <laughs> National Theater. For those of you scoring at home, San Jose's population totals right around a half a million. While checking things out, you quickly notice a smooth mix of old school and new world charm. In New York City, we have the Pigeon Lady. This is the Costa Rica version. San Jose works as the perfect pit stop right before you cut loose. Trust me, you'll thank yourself for recharging your batteries for all the killer adventures ahead. One ecotourism stop definitely worth checking out is the small town of Monte Verde, which in English translates into Green Mountain. Makes sense as you take in these beautiful surroundings by horseback. Or if you're one who gets off on more of an accelerated adventure, make the move and jump on an ATV. A full dose of healthy plant and animal life in the Monte Verde Cloud Forest Preserve no doubt inspires conservation. Welcome to Aerial Tram Park, an ecotourism project stretching out more than 220 acres, allowing anyone who strolls in to discover a tropical paradise from a visually unique perspective. So your hat, your hat says save the rainforest. Are we in trouble? Uh, sadly, yes. Sometimes in other countries there is, no, there is no like conscience about the importance of it, but we have to do it several reasons Woo, there are many reasons but we are working hard because in within 20 years i would say the fight is not going to be for petroleum the fight will be for water and many of these forests keep a lot of streams alive if these are cut down we're gonna run out of water they will start drying out and we'll have we will have a lot of consequences right now we are suffering from warm, uh, global warming and it's been uh, an effect from deforestation. And if you pay close attention, it's pretty amazing to see how many different animals and insects thrive in this area. Check out these leafcutter ants, arguably one of Mother Nature's hardest workers. Leafcutter ants are merely one of more than 35,000 insects in this country. Quick note to self consider opening a chain of bug repellent stands in Costa Rica. So each leaf that they are carrying here will be placed in one of the more than a hundred rooms. They have a chambers. They have that amount there. So they deposit those leaves. They will add fecal matter. They will add saliva. And it's going to be a whole fermentation. From that fermentation, there will be a, a mushroom or fungus coming out. That's what they eat. They do not eat the leaves. They eat the fungus that grow out of the leaves that they carry. That's why they're called leaf cutters. The world's best worker right there, right? The Costa Rica Army, by the way. <laughs> the only Costa Rica Army we got, these guys, which in a year they can cut about 17% of all leaves of a rainforest. Lots of lessons here, huh? Throughout Costa Rica, you'll find these guided nature tours, loaded with cool info, compliments of a naturalist guiding the way. Kind of feels like one of those classes you actually stayed awake for in school. Where can you get this for free? <laughs> Pure air. Oh, and you can tell too. I mean, you can tell. It's so, so nice. And this is your office. This is my office. Not a this bad deal, my man. Office. 